HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have highlights as the TVL champion Hillers field hockey team played their first playoff game. Hopkinton High School hosted their annual Halloween costume contest. And you'll hear about the Faith Community Church Christmas Child Program. But first... After years of planning and working through the process, construction has started and the groundbreaking ceremony was held for the new elementary school in Hopkinton at 129 Hayden Row Street. Uh, my name is uh, Jeff D'Amico. I'm the owner's project manager from Compass Project Management. Uh, we're the, the lead on the project, helping guide the, the town and the project team all the way through. Um, we're here today for an important major milestone, which is the groundbreaking. As you can hear and see behind me, there's a lot of activity. It's an exciting point in the project. Everything's real. Uh, we started two years ago with the building committee on a process of coming up with a, an idea of what a school would be, whether it was renovation or new. And here we are two years later, breaking ground and actually starting construction. So the new school in Hopkinton is a pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade early elementary school. It's a two-story building that's 82,000 square feet, uh, roughly in the shape of a, of a T. Uh, to orientate you to where we are, over my shoulder here, going this way, will be the main building. Starting in the back, closest to us, will be the cafetorium and the gymnasium, leading straight forward to the entrance to the building. And teeing off to the left will be the main classroom wing. And so all grades, first grade on the second floor and kindergarten on the lower floor, We'll be reaching out to the woods that way. Right where this major dirt pile is, is going to be the corner of the playing field. And behind me will be the, the playgrounds themselves. So just to orientate you, you're standing on an important thoroughfare, which is a pedestrian connection to the EMC park. So there'll be uh, symbiotic relationships between the park there and the playing fields here for access so that the community can build and, and work with each other for your uh, shared uses. For the Elementary School Building Committee, this day marks a significant milestone in a project that the ESBC began work on three years and seven months ago, to the day actually. Why do I know the exact date of the very first meeting of the ESBC? Well, yes, my husband's on the committee, but more importantly, our daughter was born that day. So three and a half years later, here we are. And as our daughter has grown and successfully navigated her milestones over the past three years, this building project has grown and successfully achieved its milestones at both the town and state level. The new elementary school project we are celebrating today required leadership, foresight, careful planning, and extensive community involvement. Uh, we learned a lot along the way. And uh, I think at the end of the day, when this thing opens in September of 2018, we're going to have a great school for our students, and they're going to get a great education here in Hopkinton. It's going to be great because we had a great process. The process that the elementary school building committee followed, the process that the board of selectmen, the school committee, uh, our professional teams put together uh, is why we're going to have a great product. In the public sector, when you have a great process, you generally get a great result. In the public sector, when the process isn't so great, you generally have other kinds of results. I think there's plenty of examples where the process doesn't always go very smoothly. There's one before us right now uh, at the national level that I won't comment on. Uh, but there's also been many examples when the process has been excellent. And when you have an excellent process, you have great volunteers working together to make things happen, you're going to have a great product, a great result. Working with the MSBA has been a partnership that has saved this town 
probably millions of dollars. Uh, it has created a process that's sound. It's created the right governance. Here's a, a group of people at the state level who've built uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of schools, and they've got the collective experience to help advise communities like Hopkinton and help us avoid the common pitfalls that you I imagine a volunteer committee trying to build a school without the expertise of the MSBA. So thank you to the Massachusetts School, school Building Authority for being a partner with the town of Hopkinton in this project. And with that, I'd like to introduce Jack McCarthy, the executive director of the MSBA. Um, the mission of the Massachusetts School Building Authority is to partner, and you hear that word a lot today, but that's, our, that's the first word in our mission statement, is to partner with Massachusetts communities to support the design and construction of educationally appropriate, flexible, sustainable, and cost-effective public school facilities. And this project certainly will meet that ideal. Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in education pays the best interest. We at the MSBA are proud to be your investing partners to the tune of 44.5% of eligible costs. We will have more from the elementary school groundbreaking later in the newscast. And right now on our YouTube page, you can view the ceremony in its entirety. On Halloween morning, Hopkinton High School seniors were sporting some very unique and well thought out costumes for the annual Senior Halloween Breakfast and Costume Contest. Here is a look at the festivities. Going up the paper, y'all did a great job today. Thank you so much. First category, the funniest. Will Ferrell characters, Jake oh, Lane, oh, Nick oh, Temple. Oh, oh, oh.
You can view more from the Hopkinton High School Halloween festivities on our website, hcam.tv. The Faith Community Church in Hopkinton has teamed up once again with the Samaritan's Purse for the Operation Christmas Child program. The program is one of the largest of its kind to help children. Josh Morrison of the Faith Community Church told us all about it. Our church has partnered with Samaritan's Purse and Operation Christmas Child for a number of years now. And what it is, is that we, we, bring the, we get the shoe boxes and we distribute them to people. And then throughout the next couple of weeks, they go out and fill them with just essential supplies that somebody in a third world country might need. From toothpaste, toothbrushes, to warm socks, to um, any of those really necessities. Or, or, and in addition to that, like a cool toy, you can deflate a soccer ball and put it in there with a pump, you know, something cool that they could open up on Christmas and get a Christmas gift. Um, we provide a list in the, in the box that has suggested items, what works, what's not so good, and then for certain reasons why. Um, but then we're just trying to really bless people and give them items that they may need through local organizations in that area that reach out to them. So um, anybody that wants to pick up a box and fill it is welcome to. We didn't want to limit it to within the church. We wanted to open it up to anybody in the Hopkinton area that wanted to hop on board could do this. Um, all they need to do is they would stop by the church and pick up one of the shoe boxes. It's specific to the organization, so it's not just a generic one, it's their special one. Um, and then go fill it and then just bring it back to us. And there will be a little pamphlet that uh, the person just pays for shipping. It's a $7 shipping charge. So they put it in there, and that's what gets it all over the world. Uh, and can you talk about some of the supplies that you're looking for the most? Anything of the practical necessities that we use on an everyday basis, whether that be hygienic items from bars of soap, not liquid soap, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, the caps or the toothbrush, cup, uh, like the covers that go with it, um, socks, plain t-shirts. A lot of the kids that get them are going to school, so notebooks, pencils, pens, that kind of stuff that they can really use on an everyday basis. Are They go a really long way with these gifts, and they're fantastic and really appreciated. Um, we go, we try to say plain t-shirts, um, just because they're going to a ton of different cultures and we don't exactly know who's getting it as far as what country it's going to. But we have, they're broken up into different age groups and you can do different genders. So you can say, this is for a boy that's 10 to 14 years old. And then you can pick stuff in the box specific to that. Or you can say, this is a five to 10 year old girl and then get toys or stuff that's specific to that person. Still to come on HCAM News, we have highlights from Hiller's Field Hockey playoff action, more from the elementary school groundbreaking ceremony, and Courtney has our HCAM insider. You're tuned in to HCAM News. Don't go anywhere. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hopkinton Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, and Girl Scouts will be dropping off bags at residents' homes as part of the nationwide drive for local food pantries scouting for food. Fill the bags with non-perishable food and household products and leave it by your mailbox before 10 a.m. The scouts will pick up the items and bring them to Project Just Because Hopkinton Food Pantry. Also, please check the dates on the food items. You choose to donate to ensure they are not expired or about to expire. Come down on Thanksgiving morning and join us for the Hopkinton Lacrosse second annual Turkey Trot. It's going to be a 2.5 mile course around the high school and supporting fields. Registration can be done on the link below. The race starts at 7.30 in the morning and all proceeds go directly to the Hopkinton Lacrosse program. If you're free, come down and burn some calories before the big meal. 
Welcome back to HCAM News. The high school fall sports season playoffs have begun and the Hillers field hockey team grabbed the 12th seed in the South Division 1 bracket and hosted Norwood in first round action. Here are the highlights as the TVL field hockey champion Hopkinton Hillers began postseason play. The TVL champion Hopkinton Hillers grabbed the 12th seed in the South Division 1 bracket. In the first round, the Hillers hosted 21st seeded Norwood at home. Just past 10 minutes into the first, sophomore Caroline Waters receives the feed from junior Sarah Todd and puts it in to make it a 1-0 Hillers lead. Norwood starts off the second half with a couple bursts into Hiller's territory, but the Hopkinton defense responded nicely. Second half at 14.03 into the half, senior Anna Joyce with the turnaround shot gives the Hillers a 2-0 lead. Just 58 seconds later, senior Ali Simone finds junior Caroline Murphy who gives the Hillers a 3-0 lead. And that would do it. The Hillers take the 3-0 win and advance to play Silver Lake in the next round. caught up with Hiller's head coach, Joan Bannon, after the game. I thought the whole team played great. I, you know, everybody got into the game. The first half we struggled scoring. We had one, one goal and we had many opportunities and many corners and we didn't score on. Second half we capitalized. I think they uh, increased their intensity and so we ended up scoring. And uh, this team, a lot of accomplishments this year. They took the uh, TVL title and now they're in the uh, postseason advancing to the second round. Can you just talk about the season in general and uh, how well this team's played? The season in general, I feel that we're in, uh, TVL is a really tough league. And on any given day, you can win or lose by one goal. And so we were, our, our goal was to win the TVL and we haven't done that since 2010. Um, and I thought that was an ambitious goal starting out. The girls had the goal and they had it in their mind and we worked every game towards that goal. And uh, what would you say to the key to this uh, victory out there was the key to getting that uh, shutout win? The key was working as a team. They, you know, the defense did their job, the middies did their job, the forwards, the, you know, they, they were the scorers, they did their job. I think that was the key that they played off each other, they had beautiful passes, and they played as a team. All right, so what's the practice schedule going to be like going forward here? Well, tomorrow we, tomorrow we have practice. I'm not sure if the other team has grass or turf. I have to find that out before I have practice, and we will be practicing our corners. <laughs> All right, Coach, congratulations on a great win great. out there. Well, thank you so much. Be sure to stay up to date with all Hiller Sports by checking out our daily Hiller Sports updates on our website, hcam.tv. Elementary School Building Committee Chairman Joe Markey played a huge part in the process of finalizing plans for the new elementary school in Hopkinton. The ESBC Chairman was awarded for his efforts during the groundbreaking ceremony by Representative Carolyn Dykema and Senator Karen Spilka. I have never been, I don't think, any happier to see active construction equipment than I am today, looking back um, to see what's going on here. Really a beautiful sight. And I know this has been a really long road for the community, so it's particularly sweet, again, to be here and see so many people coming out in support of this project. And I think more than so many other wonderful projects um, in town, this is really a labor of love and a, a project of, by, for the community and its future. And you, you look at the, the range of people um, in the audience who have participated in this process, which has been a, a lengthy one, a very deliberative one, and a very inclusive one, so that what you are going to have at the end of the day and what's represented in this beautiful picture 
is going to represent the best of Hockenton. It's really been a phenomenal experience and the elementary school building committee, congratulations to you, Joe, and all of the folks. Unless you've been on that kind of committee, you don't realize how many hours you really do put into this and the detail you go into. But this is a testament to what what Hopkinton is about and what the folks and the residents of Hopkinton are. The fact that the vote failed, and I know sometimes somebody said to me, oh, don't mention that vote. Don't mention the 2011 <laughs> vote. But what a phenomenal regrouping everybody did and the building committee, the school committee, the, the meetings that took place to really pull people in. I mean, there were meetings almost every week to talk to people, to figure out what does this community need, what does this community want, and that's the basis for the building behind us. We have a uh, legislative citation. Uh, I will just, you know, read it that that it's congratulate congratulations to the Hopkinton Elementary School Building Committee in recognition of your joyous occasion of the groundbreaking for Hopkinton's new school and that uh, we wish you continued success and uh, all the best. And, and uh, here, it's yours. <laughs> Congratulations. You. Thank you, Senator Spilka. Thank you, uh, Carolyn Dykema. Uh, and thank you to everyone here. Uh, I'd like to hand it over to uh, the Vice Chair of the Elementary School Building Committee, Mike Shepard, for some uh, closing remarks. My grandson, Beckett, my granddaughter Harper, and, and Quinn, and another new granddaughter over there, Willa. Microphone. Harper Mike. will be going to the first grade in this school. We'll be going to kindergarten. This will be going after. It. These are the reasons we built these. Schools. And uh, Mike, it's, <coughs> it's been a long process. I'm really excited you all came out, and I really want to thank the, the people that came out to all our. Uh, pre-construction meetings at the senior center and the snow and the yucky weather and your guidance is what helped us incredibly on this project not only where it was going to go but what it looked like and uh it'll be an exciting project yeah, come on the side. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. and then on the count of three we'll try to hit that guy with the camera <laughs> uh, all right and, but while you keep, while you're throwing keep smiling too. two three three <laughs> A whole lot of great programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, November 4th at 8 p.m., the Hopkinton Coffee Break hosts discuss current events. There was a parody on The Real Housewives oh, and there stuff were like awesome. that. Yeah, a group of teen, uh, you know, high school seniors dressed up as their depiction of housewives and you know, shout out to, to the real group with the, yeah. the, the membership number and uh, it was fun. That, it was, that was cute. Well, on Saturday, November 5th at 1.30 p.m., the Hillers football team takes on Oliver Ames. On Monday, November 7th, Wake Up and Smell the Poetry returns with Elizabeth Gordon McKim reading her original poetry. These days, we're all angels to each other, laying our dreams deep in the doom where the dust comes from. At 8.30 p.m., some of the important factors patients should consider when making decisions about their health care are discussed on Physician Focus. I think some of the things that you should take into account include location, um, access, is the physician open at hours that you can go, um, who else is in the office? Is there coverage when the physician isn't available? On Wednesday, November 9th at 8 p.m., Abby Hennigan discusses her music on All About Hopkinton. I started writing my own songs and I started putting them on my YouTube channel where um, I actually started getting views and subscribers and it was just, it was really like a hobby of mine. I never considered it as a career until actually just recently I was like, I love this way too much to not pursue it. On Thursday, November 10th at 6.30 p.m., Margie Wigan talks with community members about kindness on Character Matters. It's fun to make friends. Right, so being kind helps you be a friend, right? Yeah. 
Would people be your friend if you were mean? No. No. They don't want to hang out with someone who's mean, do they? No. On Sunday, November 13th at 10 a.m., the planning board meeting from November 7th will air. And on HCAM Ed, the first Hopkinton Athletic Field Subcommittee feasibility study will air throughout the week. If you want to know more about what goes on here at HCAM, head on over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can subscribe to our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about what's going on in town, you can sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view the entire elementary school groundbreaking ceremony and also additional footage from the Hopkinton High School Halloween Costume Contest. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and as always, thanks for watching HCAM. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com.